Yo, yo, yo! What is going on, everybody? Um, first, real quick, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me recently. Uh, I've posted two or three uh, WoW videos, WoW-related content, and you guys have been blowing it up um, with amazing feedback, letting me know that you guys appreciate the guides, the videos, um, and I just want to let you know that I appreciate your support, so thank you. Um, but today, in this video, I just wanted to just, just talk. Just talk. What's going through Stubbs World's head as somebody that hasn't been playing the game for quite a while? Well, first I want to talk about the set pieces for Subtlety and Assassination. Um, because... Give me a second. Item sets. Okay. So this is the set for Subtlety. Okay. I want to talk about this because I think it's very important. Because I don't think... This is going to be viable whatsoever. And the reason being is because Shadow Strike has a 15% chance to grant Shadow Blades for 5 seconds. Okay? Shadow Blades is not something that is super overly strong. Right? If somebody if somebody is in Arena and like the Rogue uses Shadow Blades, I have never seen a video where it's like, Oh, fuck, man. Like, we got to run. The Rogue pops Shadow Blades. When a rep pound and pops wings, yeah, you better get the fuck out, use some defensives, yada, yada, yada. But when a rogue pops Shadow Blades, man, like, it's such piss weak damage, dude. All right, one other combo, deal 50% additional damage. It, it's it's for your melee attacks, I'm pretty sure. Like, this shit only does like 3 to 4k per auto or something. Which, yeah, it adds up, it increases your DPS, but I just... Me personally, I do not think Shadow Blades is that huge of a thing to be concerned about, other than you can get out more eviscerates with the additional combo points, which isn't even that much. So that's just me personally. This first set, Shadow Strike, 15% 15, 15 chance, piss weak. I honestly think it's it's not going to really increase too much. And, and I don't even have it yet, so this is just me talking, okay? But more importantly, the finishing move part, the four set piece, your finishing moves have a 3% chance per combo point. So let's say we have 5 combo points or 6 if you run in deeper strat. Okay. That's 15% chance again to cast per combo point to cast Shadow Strike at up to 5 enemies within 15 yards. That is absolutely dog shit, man. Why the fuck would you do that? Like, let's say. Hold on. Let's say that these two guys are at a base, right? What can I do for you? If I, and like, let's say they're like fighting me and I want them off of me or something. If I kidney shot this guy and I want to blow this guy up, right? So I'm eviscerating, which is a part of this four set, right? Finishing move. It has a 15% chance to hit this guy that's kidneyed. And if any of you guys have watched a video of mine before, you know that I like to sap at a kidney shot. Because kidney shot is five seconds, six seconds, and so you only need one second more of non uh, non damage taken or damage dealt or whatever the hell to sap him. But if I'm fucking like shadow striking five enemies in an AOE range, I'm fucking myself over. Okay, if this works as it says it does, like per word, because like you know how like shit says per word and then it like works kind of differently. If this works. The way it says it does, it's going to be hitting the guy in my kidney shot and I'm not going to be able to sap him out. This tier set is dog shit. Like, if you can avoid it, me personally, I would not get this. This shit is fucking gross in a horrible way. But, assassination, this shit fucks. Like, this is OP, man. You always take 40% increased damage from your poisons and bleeds for 9 seconds. With Shiv as assassin, with Hemotoxin, they get like X amount of decreased healing already with Shiv. And you're going to tell me that they're going to take 40% increased more damage? Holy fuck. This thing pumps. This set piece pumps. And Vedetta causes poison and bleeds on your target to expire 100% faster? If you time this, if you time Vendetta with like, uh, with if you knife fake, because I heard Sepsis is good for Assassin. 
If you time it with sepsis, like, this guy's gonna get nuked. This two set and four set for assassination, absolutely fucking biss. Like, just reading this, like, on, on paper, it seems like it's gonna absolutely just fuck shit up. Okay? Now, moving away from tier sets and into conduits. Not conduits, covenants. Uh, I played a few RBGs yesterday, and although I don't have my second legendary for Kyrian, it doesn't matter, man. I I do not like Kyrian. I do not like the lack of mobility that I had when I was playing Night Fae. I fucking love Night Fae, and this shit is kind of boring. Um, like, don't get me wrong, it's fun doing the, like, if you line it up right, but it's just kind of boring. This guy, it feels like it doesn't really heal that much. Like, I remember when Kyrian first came out, it was healing quite a bit, but now, like, it, it heals like nothing. Uh, this is my shit, and don't get me wrong, like, this shit seems busted. Uh, this shit seems busted for base defending. Like, this stuff seems really strong for base defense. But I've always been a more mobile, agile rogue that has a lot more presence around the map instead of just base defending. Like, that's just, and that's just my play style. Um, so I think, just to give you guys my my thoughts about what's going on right now um once i hit 80 renown i'm probably gonna be switching to night fey for sepsis and night fey is that what it's called soul shape soul shape uh soul shape because soul shape fucks because uh, i love the mobility part of it so i think i'm gonna be switching to that and then i the thing with sepsis and assassination is that a good assassination rogue can base defend can it cap as well? No. But if I have the four seat or four set as assassination with sepsis, then I can just blow whoever the I can just kill so fast because like assassination blows up tanks. And if you have like a guardian sitting a base or a boomy running the guardian shit, I, I don't really know what the meta is nowadays. But I, I feel like assassination, when going to cap a base is going to be less about the crowd control that subtlety provides with shadow dance cheap shot cheap shot kidney shot sap blind off target shadow we duel this guy a, a bit less with that and just primarily focus on assassination damage i think at this current state subs world might be looking to go assassination not gonna bullshit assassination with fucking um uh knife a I think is going to be the move, um, for me, anyways. How do I, uh, powers, okay, rupture, what are we looking at, what's the sepsis one, oh my god, adrenaline rush, mixed with assassination, sheesh, okay, yeah, I think assassination is definitely going to be the way to go, and probably with suffuse, because doesn't it do secondary stats? Yeah. Sephuse and fucking Toxic are probably gonna absolutely just fucking... Oh, wait. I'm looking at... Is that even a thing anymore? Yeah, it is. I feel like that shit is gonna fuck. Yeah. I think Assassination and Night Fae are definitely gonna be my go-to for when it comes to pushing uh, maybe higher rated PvP. I have no clue. I have no clue. Because um, I know in... Uh, was it BFA? BFA Legion, there is an AoE assassination build, right? And I have a legendary actually, where is it? This one. Like, I don't know if this is good. I never really got to use it. But, I mean, if you have, like, AoE bleeds, uh, adrenaline rush, like, I feel like, I feel like assassination, assassin, assassination, I can't say it. Sin. I feel like Sin is gonna fuck this season. But yeah, I just wanted to talk very briefly about uh, tier sets, subtlety shit, and my I, my upcoming uh, conduit choices. Not conduits, covenants. Sorry, still getting back into the swing of things. Um, later tonight or tomorrow, probably going to upload a video of me talking about some mistakes I made um, when doing RBGs yesterday. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. Other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's Tuesday. Um, so hope good luck in your chest and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Peace.